Hey guys, what's up? This is Zach Hample outside City Field in New York City. And this video, as you can see, is already looking a little bit different because I'm doing it selfie style. Couldn't get a videographer for today, but I did want to document this because Mike Piazza was recently inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame and he's having his number officially retired by the Mets today. Huge pregame ceremony and there are going to be commemorative baseballs. So that's my goal for, for today, is to snag one. I spent a lot of money buying a ticket in a pretty good spot. You'll see that later on. Um, if you can see the ground behind me, it is wet out here. It's raining. If that doesn't cancel BP, the whole pregame ceremony might wipe it out anyway. I'm not sure if anybody will be hitting. So the challenge is just to get one baseball before the game starts, and then to hopefully get a commemorative one during live play. This is not good. I'm here with Ryan, and Ryan, uh, it's about an hour until the stadium is going to open, and it is raining hard, and I underestimated the forecast. Um, this Ryan over here says what? The game itself might be in jeopardy? We're Siri not playing said rain today. all night. Siri said rain all night. So. I hope Siri is... Siri, you don't know what you're talking about. There's going to be baseball tonight in Queens. No, That's my prediction. Not, oh yes, there's going to be baseball tonight in Queens. <laughs> the stadium is going to open in about 10 minutes, and Mike Piazza is here waiting in line with me. That's my friend, Ben Weil. You may remember him from one of my Camden Yards videos from earlier this year. He is, without a doubt, the biggest Mike Piazza fan in the universe. <laughs> well, this is officially a pain in the butt. It looks like there are some people playing catch in, I think, the Rockies bullpen. So, gonna head over there and just hopefully try to get one ball early. I'd say this outfit ought to help me out a bit. There is, in fact, a bullpen session going on. My friend Greg is out here, a couple other guys, so already got some early competition, even though it is only 4.44 in the afternoon. Still no baseballs for me. It is now 5.36 p.m., so game time is about an hour and a half away. Now there's a different bunch of guys playing catch, but uh, there's a bunch of fans in the seats now, so more competition. Less than an hour until game time. Still haven't gotten to baseball, but I did get some pepperoni pizza. Oh yes, I'm gonna chow down on that. Hopefully feel a little bit better, and if this game gets played, gotta make something happen during the game. The ceremony is getting underway. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. This place is coming alive. I still don't have any baseballs. <laughs> but I'm confident, I'm hopeful. They have all the former Mets greats here. And of course, the man himself, Mike Piazza, will be speaking very soon. This is fun. Direct your attention to the Mets' retired numbers of Top City Field in the left field corner. All right, this is a good sign. The tarp is coming off the field. I guess they're gonna play this thing. The radar looks bleak, but uh, yeah, so far so good. I just managed to get a baseball. Logan Verrett tossed it up, and I handed it to a little kid right next to me. Huge relief. It's 7.18 p.m. and I just got my first call of the day. Wow. Heading over to my seat right now on the third base side. What do you see where I'm gonna be for the game? <laughs> it's the top of the second inning. And I can't tell if Jen here, this is Ben's wife, I can't tell if she's here to prevent me from getting a ball or if she's here to assist me. It's, it's sort of unclear. Um, I'm here to get Ben a ball. That's Ooh. what I'm here for. <laughs> well, regardless, we're in a pretty good spot. Um, yeah, front row behind the dugout, so. I'm gonna put my phone away for right now, pay attention to the batter so I don't get drilled, and I have eight more innings to try to get one of those special balls. Bottom of the fourth inning, Trevor Story is coming out of the game. It looks like he just hurt his wrist or his shoulder, and the Rockies are winning three to two. They were getting no hit by Bartolo through three innings, but they rallied in the last frame. And uh, hey, Jen, how are you doing? It is the bottom of the seventh inning here at City Field. Jen is a little bummed out. 
but I'm very happy because... I mean, she should know better than to sit next to me if she wants to get a ball. She was... She was supposed to be here to help me get a ball. I'm trying to get two today. One for me and one for my friend Benny. And there's still time. But anyway, Eric Young tossed this ball up to me in between innings. Uh, I saw him inspecting every infield warm-up ball and telling the fans, oh, this one is no, you know. And he was walking by me down in the dugout, and I just said, you know, EY, I'm dying to get one of those balls. And he pulled one out of his back pocket and tossed it up. Isn't that right? That's what happened. It's so. over here at City Field. The Mets did not win the game, but it was still a wonderful celebratory day for Mike Piazza. As you can see, my friends, Ben and Jen in the background, they got on the uh, Jumbotron today. They were on the Daily News Instagram with their big signs. And uh, yeah, I only got one baseball before the game, which was good. I kept the streak alive early. But the main thing that I'm really psyched about, again, I showed it earlier, but I'm going to show it once more. Got the Piazza ball right there. So pretty psyched about that. Uh, the two baseballs today bring my lifetime total up to 9,150.